since we have one of our videos that we lost, I thought I'd just take a moment to talk about something that happened in St. Ignatius's life at the Battle of Pamplona. We know that it was at that battle that he was hurt very um, terribly. Um, we see that in, in this painting here. And um, that it took him a long time to recover from that. And during that time, his conversion happened. But even before his conversion, as the um, French troops were amassing around there and everything looked so very grim, um, there was no chaplain available to the soldiers who were defending um, Pamplona. And so Ignatius um, took advantage of a pious custom of that time, and he confessed to a fellow soldier the sin that he had, that soldiers probably ears turned red at hearing all of the different things that Ignatius had engaged in that were sinful. Um, but he took advantage of something that was a little bit of a custom of, of that time, you know, um, that if you didn't have a priest and you were in danger of imminent death, that this would be something that you would do. Um, what's so interesting for me is that we talk about the conversion of St. Ignatius after the Battle of Pamplona, but even before that conversion, there were clear Catholic roots that Ignatius um, had. He was following in some ways at least the cultural Catholicism of his time. And who knows if that little pious custom that he engaged in, you know, at before the Battle of Pamplona, if one of the results and one of the graces of it wasn't the change that would uh, rock his world within a very few months and turn out rocking the Christian world um, when his conversion began to be duplicated in the lives of so many other people through the spiritual exercises. For us, what can we learn from this? I think we can learn how important it is um, to embrace our faith in its very different sorts of um, attitudes, you know, not just in what is um, the sacrament for us or the different sacraments we can receive, but in other pious practices, we need these disciplines in order to help us to draw closer to Christ. And whether that is praying the rosary or reading scripture, whether that is having spiritual books that, that, that help us or fasting at times, and, or maybe it's... Um, you know, making sure that um, we, we stop by to pay a visit in the church or that we um, look for ways of service for others. The different things that aren't necessarily linked to the liturgical life of the church, to the sacramental life of the church, we need those other things too. Because in 24 hours of our life, eight or so spent asleep, there's so many hours to turn our minds to God, to do little things for the Lord, and little things to help our faith to grow and be deeper and deeper um, in, in, a, in our relationship with the Lord. And so that's the wisdom of the autobiography of St. Ignatius for today.